<laughs> Creepy ain't the word. Freaky ain't the word. Sneaky ain't the word. See what I've observed is there's no easy way to describe this geeky place. Even geeky place doesn't tell you what I need to say. This is strange hill where we're talking frog can eat your face. It's very, very random. You'll get used to these debates if you stick around. Although I wouldn't recommend it. When they use the name strange, mate, they really meant it. There's some things in life with which you just don't mess. On every vest I've got the letters S O S. Cause you never know what might be lurking around the corner. And what it might do if they ever found a saw you. Keep the lights on in the hallways all day. Things won't always tend to go your way. Watch your back and be prepared. Can't wait for free food. See you there. Come on, Jenny. You can do it. All you need is a bit of my tender, loving care. As I was saying, the elections will be held this Friday. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, children. I fell asleep during that brief period of darkness. Now then. What were we all about? Uh, <coughs> me? Uh, yes, Miss Bethany? The school elections. I'd like to take this opportunity to announce my candidacy. Once again, I'll be running for school president. She does this every year. Her smug face plastered all over the school. Then she does nothing except take advantage of her title. And um, I'd like to book a table for President Bethany. I wish just once a candidate would run who actually cares about the cruddy state of this school. A candidate who speaks for us. You're speaking, and you're us. You're right. Fellow students! I have something important to say, and it can't wait. Uh, I guess it can wait a bit. My friends, today I stand before this grand but cruddy generator to tell you this school needs new energy. And I'm not just talking about biodegradable, renewable, sustainable, alternative green solutions. I'm talking about ourselves. Have we become like this generator? Rusty, broken down, slow, full of rats. Woo! I was already gonna vote for you, but woohoo! Well, if you kids are done, I gotta go back to fixing Jenny here. Well, thanks for the free sit. Always nice to take a load off. Good luck in whatever the heck it is you're doing. So, what did you guys think? I'm pleased to see you supporting alternative energies. Personally, I favour bioelectrical solutions. This potato battery generates enough voltage to run my laptop. With enough butter and bako bits, it can run for hours. Fantastic! Mitchell, what do you think? Uh, it was quite exciting when the generator looked like it was going to explode, but... But what? But... And this is a big but. Big, big but. but. Seriously, though, you're not going to win any votes by talking about rechewable, restrainable energies. Renewable, sustainable energies. Nobody cares. I don't want to be rude, but... What? You love being rude. True. In which case, to be blunt, this is never going to get you elected. I don't understand. See? Now that's more like it. Pow! But Stephanie's all look and no substance. This isn't a popularity contest. Everything in school is. Except the popularity contest. That is a bit Stephanie heavy. You need to fight and become class president and bring in a new generator and a two-day school week and a ban on homework. You mentioned a two-day week and a ban on homework. Forget that right now. I believe in you. But how am I ever going to beat her? By using Templeton's patent potato-powered brainwashing machine. Its electrode programs the wearer to agree with you. Observe. This is a terrible idea. What great idea! What a really terrible idea. The effect's not long enough. We're gonna need a bigger potato. Brainwashing's not ethical. No, but it is a quick and easy way to get people to do what you want. If you want to beat Stephanie without any dirty tricks, you're gonna have to get out there and sell yourself. Ew, the idea of pictures of me all over the school. I quite like it myself. To 
today we will make portraits. What? Portraits, pictures, and sculptures of persons. Oh, okay. We just need model. Dex, be the model. With the art show coming up, your face will be all over the school. I can't do that. I'm not nearly attractive enough. Look, you are the pinky headed cutest girl I know. Really? Do you mean it? Sure, if it works. Listen, Bex, sometimes you have to force yourself to do what you never in a million years would normally do. Like every morning when I get out for school. Mr. Kandinsky! Very good, glasses girl. You must capture what is inside the glasses girl. Not just outer beauty, but very essence for these inside glasses, girl. You mean like our guts and stuff? If you wish, big boy, art is freedom, with many rules. <laughs> you crazy boy! What do you call this fabulous mess? Clay, Becky. <laughs> Soon the school will be full of fabulous Beckys. Becky will be everywhere. Oh, not if I have anything to do with it. <gasps> Becky, everywhere. We'll see about that. I've just had a brilliant idea. What's that feel like? We need to disable the new security cameras, but they say they're foolproof. Foolproof? They didn't count on those fools. Exactly. They didn't say anything about the dumb old generator. Shouldn't that be down, dumb generator? Give me something heavy. Give me your big, ugly, clunky shoe now. Politics does get a bit personal, don't it? It's dark, ain't it? It's an undercover mission. Of course it's dark. Let's see those pictures. Ooh! 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 Time for Becky's makeover. Let's do this. Trying on shoes now, are we, Jenny? You're a strange old bird, you are. I just sort you out, my angel. <gasps> Rumbled. Let's get out of here. I feel like I'm about to enter a freak show. <laughs> Vote for the amazing annoying girl. See the world's largest ego in action. Thrill to her inane remarks. Stand in stunned silence as her lackey kisses her hideous behind. I'm voting for Becky, thank you. No, he meant... Oh, uh, forget it. These halls won't be grim for long. Once we decorate them with all the pictures of Becky, people will gasp with joy. <laughs> Bit more joyful than that. They've destroyed me. I'm a blot, a smudge, a horrible, ugly smear. <laughs> I think I know exactly who did this. Where's my sculpture? I'll never be president. <laughs> All my great ideas. But just have to wait till I pray in this day. I think you're the best. <laughs> you, you, you. I mean me. <laughs> ah, don't hurt me. Why, you're even prettier than your pictures. You really think so? Oh, gosh, yes. I haven't been around that much. But I think it's safe to say you're the best-looking girl ever. And I bet you're ever so smart. Well, I think we're going to be good friends. <gasps> you're beautiful. Me? <laughs> She's funny looking, but nice. Weird, strange, unnaturally reanimated mud, but nice. <laughs> kind of. In fact, we need to get rid of her. No! 
When she tells me things, it's like that confident little inner voice I always wanted, but massive and outside. Oh, are you running for president? Yes. Yes, I am. We're keeping her. OK, but she needs a disguise. The lost and found. Where fashions go to die. And who is this? It's my, um, cousin. Bucky, I'm Becky's bestest friend ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come and sit with me, Bucky. <laughs> Gonna run things this smoothly as class president? O.M. me! Who would vote for you? I would! I think Becky would make an excellent class president. And I think Bucky will make an excellent vice president. <laughs> I will. Just don't kill me. Hey! Ooh, what a neat wheelchair. Thank you. Both for Becky and Bucky. I will. Can I have a ride? No. Scary enthusiasm doesn't count as intimidation, does it? Nah. Get your votes any way you can. Then you can do good for me and uh, and everyone. I cannot believe they'd resort to, like, unfair tactics to get votes. And full of money for your vote. I have been totes on the level with that girl. But now the gloves are coming off. That big grey dope is going down. Oh, great hit, Becky. Only the greatest athletic move ever. Well, I don't... <laughs> You know, Bucky, you might want to tone down the enthusiasm just a smidge. Ooh, this is a great idea, Becky. And I love how you said smidge. Thanks. No, thank you. Uh, I'm going to give you a hug. Here's the plan. I've wished a bin in the tree. I'll cry out. Sappy Bucky will think I'm in trouble. Rush over. Boom. Binned. No one will vote for a stinker. Ready? Ready. Mm. You smell so good. Put me down. Ugh. Sometimes you can be so annoying. <laughs> you hurt my giant overblown feelings. <laughs> Ow. I think I hurt my ankle or something. She's hurt. I better help her. No, wait. It could be a trap. <laughs> Uh, uh. Look out! Oh. You saved me. I've never said this before to anyone, but thanks, Bucky. Well, I'm glad someone appreciates me. I appreciate you much more than Becky. In fact, Bucky, I have an offer for you. An offer? I love offers! What's an offer? <laughs> Stephanie and Bucky for president and vice president. Oh, Bucky, how could you? It was easy. She just promised me all sorts of wonderful things. I never imagined. How about that? She's a good politician after all. You can't just take Bucky. She's my running mate. She's a vote winner. Looks like she's all mine and you're out of luck once again, Butters. Ugh. Your last name is Batters. I don't know how much worse this can get. You too, Templeton. I must follow my involuntarily striated cardiac muscle. Your heart? Yes, that as well. I'm in love with Bucky. It's stronger than it ever was with a girl. You've never been in love with an actual girl. I know. I guess I have my type. Come on, Mitchell. Let's get out of here before we fall under Bucky's magical spell. Bye! What am I going to do? You don't need Bucky. She's just what's been inside you all along. Confidence-wise. Not personality-wise. You're normal. Not massive and threatening. Please don't hurt me. You really think I can do it without her? Sure. You got me. 
and I'll say anything. Election day is upon us. The candidates will make their speeches, and then you can vote and get back to whatever it is that you people do. Oh, yes. Making my life a misery. Thank you. Of course, I don't need any introduction, but my running mate does. She's saved my life, and she'll save yours too. I give you Bucky! Bing! Vote for me and Bucky. I'm great, and she's probably magic. Thank you. Hi, I'm Becky Butters. And, um, I don't have a flashy running mate, and I'm not super popular. We know. But I do have ideas, and that's something my opponent doesn't have any of at all. If you vote for me, I'll work my darndest, and maybe, just maybe, with my ideas we can make this school great, like the generator out back. It may be old, but it still huffs and puffs away. Why don't you huff and puff away? <laughs> Yeah, we like Bucky now. She's something new, and we're easily bored, innit? Hey, shut up, all of you. Let Becky speak. You're acting like a bunch of farmyard animals. <laughs> Move! <Yeah. laughs> Who the heck are you? I'm her running mate. So, vote for us. You've been great. Thank you. Stupid election. Ow! Murdoch, please place this rubbish somewhere it can't harm anybody. <sighs> Don't worry. It'll be all right. Are you just saying that to be nice? Yeah. You were beaten by an empty-headed girl and a grey girl dressed like an explosion in a clothing factory. What do you want me to say? Say tomorrow's another day. That Stephanie never does anything, so maybe I won't be reminded of the worst defeat ever. Tomorrow's another day. And... Wait, what was the rest? Sorry. I had a good night's sleep, and I feel like I can finally put all this behind me. Behind you! What the heck was that? All our president and vice president, the greatest leaders this school or society has ever known. I truly admire them, especially Stephanie, and especially Bucky. <laughs> that was strange. So strange, it merits investigation. Especially because it's time for maths. Presidential suite? This wasn't here before. I'm pretty sure it was a storage closet. And judging by that pile of brooms thrown over there, I know I'm right. Hi. You can sit up now. It's fun to sit up. Uh, shut up. Okay. So that's why everyone's in love with you guys. You've been potatoing the whole school. Right again, Mr. Tanner. Thank you. And soon you'll be just like them. Did you potato yourself? No, I did it for love. <laughs> Tissue me, darling. Stephanie's nice to me. She'll push you aside the second she doesn't need you. But I need you. I'm a very needy person. Templeton, give him the juice. But it's mine. No, the electricity. Oh, I'll do it myself. Watch out! Out of harm's way, he said. Ah, you can't be safer from harm than with you, my sweet. Ah, Jenny! Kuo! What a big pile of... You know, winning a school election is one thing, but going all super villainy... My 
love. Don't cry like an idiot yet. I have an idea. Potato! Ah! Ah! No! Speak to me, darling. Why? Why? Oh, okay, she was just clay. What's for lunch? Butters, Tanner, Weird Boy, this is an excellent idea. And if you want more power, just add more potatoes. Are you sure this will work? I call it the Bocky Generator, in honour of the muse that inspired its construction. Boy's a genius. Awful misguided in love, but a genius nonetheless. <laughs> That's got to be worth a two-day school week. Homework, man? Tanner! Hey, can't blame me for trying. Eh, sir? Permission to report a theft of school potatoes, sir? Where on earth could they have gone? It's a mystery, sir, but I've got 600 servings of match to do. Now! <laughs> ah, lunch is served. I think I'm seeing double. I think I'm seeing that all one times two, one, one times two, can't let go, it's like I'm seeing my own echo, hey.